Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been a long time since I've been on here. I moved back to school and the Wi-Fi is currently down still. We've had all kinds of Wi-Fi problems this year, so I haven't been able to upload anything. I'm figuring out how to set up my lights and getting all my makeup set up. It's just taking a really long time. So I'm finally ready to go. I'm finally ready to film. And I decided to bring you this spooky, like, spider queen pre-Halloween tutorial. So, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss my actual Halloween tutorials which are coming up soon and I even have a trailer for them which is super exciting. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. So, I already have my base done. I have foundation and concealer um, and just translucent powder. I have no contour done yet, um, but I really like this foundation and how pale it is and I think it's just, it's all the way down to like here, like this collar area. So, it is like all the way down so I'm nice and paled out I went over my brows um, and I did use makeup revolution concealer underneath and then the mixed photogenic HD powder so I'm just gonna take the physicians formula black pencil eyeliner so in these little auto twists and we're gonna start working on the spider web pieces so I'm gonna do it on the chest and a little at least on one shoulder if not both we'll see how much uh, time one takes. So I'm going to pull up my reference photo and we're going to get started. So now I have the basis of where I want the web, I'm going to start doing the arching lines in between. So you want to start out like this is your middle and you want to arch them towards your face. So just like this and you want to give it like a little bit of space. And you want to try and make it as even as possible. That we have the first web done. <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna take a quick break just because my wrists are kind of tired, and we're gonna go into the eyebrows. So I'm gonna take a little angled brush like this, and I'm actually gonna do some really dark, intense brows today. So I am just taking a jet black color, matte one, and we're just gonna fill it in. And since I covered them with foundation, they are a little bit like blocked out almost, which is what I really like. So I kind of have a fresh slate to go off of. So now that we have our brows filled in, let's go on to our eyes. I am going to take the NYX base in white and we're going to put this all over the lid. So for the eyes, I'm going to start with the Semi Sweet Palette from Too Faced. I'm going to go into Coconut Cream just to set everything first. Now taking, going into the Urban Decay Vice 3 palette, I think, I think this is the Vice 3. Um, doesn't matter if you don't have this palette, just need this kind of purple here, like an indigo kind of purple. And I'm going to take this on a pencil brush from Morphe, and we're going to start putting this in the crease. Thank you. 
And I'm gonna blend it out with the same brush we used earlier to set our base. So now we have this kind of indigo uh, crease that gives us a little bit of depth. I'm going to go in with the same brush and I'm going to go back into the Too Faced palette and go into Licorice, which is this jet black here, and put some of this in the crease now, mostly on the outside just to give us a little bit of depth. So for the lid, I'm going to go in with this Sugar Pill Elemental Chaos. It's like this sparkly kind of medium purple. And I'm just going to put this on a MAC 242 brush. I'm going to throw the mirror up here and I'm just going to pack this on my eyelid. I am going to go in with some liner. Uh, this is the Ico London I Do Liquid Liner, and I'm just going to do a simple wing. I'm just going to curl my eyelashes with my Birchbox brand eyelash curler. And throw on some Lash Paradise mascara. And contour with the Wet n Wild Dulce de Leche. Under my eye, I'm just going to take a little bit of this color called Glory, and it's just a deep brown, and I'm going to smudge it underneath my eye. For highlight, I'm just going to use this Hello Darkness stick from Wet n Wild. And it's just like got a purpley sheen, so I thought it would look really nice with this look since I'm doing like blacks and purples. For the lips, I'm going to use Heroin Lip Liner from MAC. Now I'm just going to use Heroin Lipstick, but I'm going to focus it mostly on the outside. Part, I'm going to take Cherry Skies from NYX. It's one of the liquid suede's. Since heroin is a matte, I want to keep everything matte. We're just going to put a little bit in the middle. So now that we have the face done and we have like this done, I'm going to go in and start doing some details on the spider web. And the Lorac palette. I'm just going to use some of the colors in here, like Mist, I'm going to use to highlight some areas on the web. So just under places that would be a little bit more lifted, like the curves. I'm just going to do it in a few places just to give it some dimension. And in the center, using the same brush, I'm going to take the Jet Black, and I'm just going to kind of pack in I'm also going to add a little bit on the shoulder here. I just want to kind of incorporate more of the body. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of spooky fall tutorial. And I hope you guys stick around because Halloween is coming and you already know I got 15 tutorials ready to go. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you next time.